Uh, Yuki? Did you just hear what I said? I said- Yeah, I heard you. Are you sure about that? Are you doubting my sources? Uh, no. It, it's, it's just so- I know, hard to believe. I was only waiting for the one confirmation and your aunt just confirmed it. That explains why she ran out the way she did. Well, you are the only one I've told. I won't be telling anyone else until the time is right. I hope you'll deal with this. Yeah. <sighs> I just hope I do this right. Well, for now I gotta trust Yuki about this part. Now, I gotta trust Fujiyama about the other. Did you hear all that, Iori? Of course I did. I'm sitting right next to you. So, like, um, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you planning? Well, this is pretty big news. But I think this is something better for us to wait on. Are you, like, serious? This is your chance, Iori. No. Like I said, we wait. End of discussion. Okay. I guess so. Trent knows something else, but he didn't tell Yuki. I wonder what it is. Mom! Mom! Mom, wait! Not now, Mamea. We gotta go now. No, Mom. Tell me what's going on right now. I don't have time for this now. We are going home right now, young lady. We just got here, and I'm not about to just leave right away. <laughs> Mameha! I can get Zeke to take me home after something. Fine. I want you straight home after this is done. Whatever. Huh. Um. Mamea. Yeah. Is everything okay? Oh. Yeah. I don't know, Zeke. My mom's acting all weird. I. I see that. Sorry, uh, just, just let me catch, let me catch my breath here. Whew. Are you going to be all right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. All right. But yeah, I haven't seen my mom this upset before. I really didn't want to go home with her like that. Uh, I understand. Hey, uh, sorry I kind of pulled you into all of this. No worries. I'll be there for you. You know that, right? Yeah. I know you got my back. You're a great friend. So, what actually happened? Well, we were late getting here, but my mom was pretty excited meeting a teacher I actually got along with and really liked, you know? Yeah, well, how hard is it not to like Mr. Fuji? No kidding. He's totally cool. But yeah, I was trying to introduce them, and that's when it happened. When what did? Well, that's when my mom just freaked right out. It's like they know each other or something. Well, you know who to ask to find out. Who? Trent? Really? Do I have to? Hey, I would really trust his info-gathering skills. Why do you trust him about these things so much? Um, <laughs> I think Trent will tell you when he's ready. Well, I think that's enough drama for me tonight. Wanna grab a bite and take me home? Uh, sure. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous? It's not like a date or anything. 
Uh, of course it's not. <laughs> he saw me talking with Ben, and my mom, with her big mouth, told my dad I have a crush on him. <laughs> That's funny. No, it's not. Stop laughing. He may keep me under lock and key now. Seriously? Wow. You got it pretty rough, huh? Tell me about it. It's like he doesn't trust me or something. I wish he would stop treating me like a child. Girls will always be daddy's little girl, whether we like it or not. Yeah, well, at least your parents let you date. I'm sure your dad just needs to get to know Ben. I mean, if he sees how clueless Ben really is, I'm sure he'll see how harmless he really is. Hey, don't talk badly about Ben. That's something I like about him. Sure, it can be frustrating at times. Frustrating? I'd want to slap him. I mean, if Yuki was like the that... The point is, my dad doesn't want me to date anyone. He's afraid of his little girl growing up. That's part of the reason why I was homeschooled. I understand, but what did he expect? You're going to high school and all? Well, I did have to put up quite a strong argument for him to send me to Vanity High. So that's all it was? Your dad got upset because of a boy you like? Pretty much. So, how are things going with you and Ben anyways? Oh, well, they're okay. Marie, tell me what's going on. Well, we haven't really talked much since that night with Jaden. Sounds like someone's avoiding you. That's what it feels like. I don't know what to do. If what you said is true about what Ben said before, and he meant it, I'm sure he'll come around. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Marie? Alright, I'm a little worried. But I trust Ben. I'm willing to wait for him. I mean, I was just fine being a secret admirer after all. That's good to hear. It's getting late. Yeah. Have a good night, Lin. Night, Marie. I gotta call Yuki to get him to get bent over this. Yuki? I know it's late. <laughs> ah, Lin and her requests. Nini! Oh, hey, sis. What's up? Are you going to tell Mameha? Tell her what? That Buji is her dad? What? How did you- Are you- <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet. I see. Maybe I should tell her- Don't you dare! What are you up to now? Relax. I may not get along with Mameha, but I'm not going to mess around with something like this. Really? Jeez, Nini. Give me a little more credit than that. <sighs> Alright. Honestly, though, I think you should let Obasan tell Mameha if she can. You know, that's actually a good idea. You are going to need to tell Mameha if she doesn't, though. Oh, yeah, I know. <sighs> morning. Good morning, you. Did you sleep well, Auntie Hime? Not too well, I'm afraid. I see. Does it have anything to do with Mommy has Dad coming back? How, how did you- It doesn't matter how I found out. What matters is, are you going to tell Mameha? Well, that's a very delicate situation. I understand that, but you know your daughter. She's not going to dismiss what happened yesterday so easily. Yes, I know. I think it's best to tell her sooner than later. And if you won't, you know I will. Are you threatening me? Take it any way you want, Atihime, but Mameha deserves to know. I believe it's best if she heard it from you as opposed to anyone else. But if you don't tell her, then I think I would be the next best person. I wouldn't be able to hold this back for very long. I understand, Yuki. I really do. But this is really as much of a shock to me as anyone. 
Vanity High was the last place I expected that man to appear. I think you should tell her today. I don't think you'd want her finding out at school, do you? No. I'll tell her, Yuki. I promise. Alright. Thanks, Auntie Hime. No. Thank you, Yuki. Morning, Yuki. Mom. Well, no time like the present. Mameha, we need to talk. No kidding. Want to tell me what happened last night? Seemed like you knew Mr. Fuji. Yes, I do. Where do I begin? Well, I don't know. How about how you know him? Yeah, about that. That's the hard part. I'm all ears. Well, I know. Mr. Fuji, was it? Yeah. I knew him when he was Daisuke Fuji. All right. Dai and I were very close a long time ago. He had always wanted to be on the road as a musician. At the time, I was young and liked the idea of that kind of thrill. Were you guys, like, dating or something? Something like that. Anyway, we had traveled a little to a few gigs and had a great time. We were young and in love. You fell in love? Are you going to keep interrupting? All right. I'm sorry. Continue. We started traveling farther away and for longer periods of time. A few years passed and something happened that caused us to split up. What? You did. What? Are you saying what I think you are? My head. Daisuke Fuji is your father. I don't believe this! I'm out of here. Dai? It's me. She knows. I think she's coming your way. I just told her. Yes, she is. Over here, ma'ams! Is it true? Whoa, 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 little missy! Slow down! No, great to see you, teacher! Glad we can meet on a weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the type to beat around the bush, you know. How about we get something to drink first? On me. So? Can I have a sip first? Must get that impatience from your mother. So it is true. Ah, yes, it's true. How did this happen? I mean, how could you not tell me? Listen. I had no idea who you were either. I only suspected last night when I saw your mom and she confirmed it this morning. And whose fault is that exactly? Look, I'm not trying to play the blame game, all right? Yeah, well, thanks for nothing. I'll see ya. Mamea! Mameha! What? Look, I know I will never be able to express how sorry I am. I'll say. And I can't just suddenly be a dad. And I'm not expecting to. Okay. Y you did like me as a teacher, right? I guess. I'm comfortable like that. And I don't mind being your friend at the very least. It's totally up to you, though. We can venture into father-daughter relations whenever you want. Let's just start as teacher or student, or friend status. Cool? I can live with that. So sweet! Now, how about we go get us our drinks before they get cold? I guess so. So, why did you call me out? 
obviously wasn't to profess your love. No. It was to tell you that I like... I know. You like Ben. H how did you know? It doesn't matter. Just know that I'm not giving up. Jaden? I've always loved you and only you. I'll do whatever it takes to make you love me. You can't make anyone love you, Jaden. And I honestly can't love someone that cannot respect others and learn how to get along with everyone. If that is what you want from me, I will do this for you. That's the point. You can't just do things for me. It has to be for you. Something that is normal for everyone. But I'm not a normal person. I'm nobility. That's the first thought you gotta change. Just because of your heritage does not make you better than anyone. But I am better than everyone. Jaden! Ugh, forget it! Why don't you look at where most of all the monarchy and nobility are now in the world? That's what happened. Because they had the same attitude as yours. Bye, Jaden. I've said what I've needed to. I'll see you at school. I... I don't know how to be anything else. So, Zeke, how's it going with Mameha? What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> do you think you can hide things from me? Who do you think I am? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a reflex. So? So nothing. She doesn't know I'm even remotely interested in her. Ah, uh, forever in the friend zone, huh? I, I guess. I mean, seriously. She thinks she's so good at relationships, but she's so blind about her own. She's just as bad as Ben in that way. <laughs> no kidding. I mean, what the crap is she going on about being a matchmaker? It seems all she does is bully away the issue as much as possible. Hey, don't talk about her that way. She, she means well, you know that. Wow, you must really like her, taking my joke so seriously. Sorry, dude. I don't know. When it comes to mommy, I get so... blah. <laughs> uh, young love. I do envy that, though. What? Someone you can be serious about? Well, you feel the same way about Iori, right? Hey, so I think Mamea might need you around soon. Oh? Uh, what do you mean? Let's just say that she's probably heard some news right about now where she might need a friend to talk to. Really? Thanks! I'll go see if I can meet up with her. Dude, you gotta find a way out of the friend zone. And for people like Mamea, you just gotta be up front. Man up! Whatever you say, Trent. See you, man. So how did it go? How did what go? Weren't you meeting up with your dad? Yeah, I was. It could have been worse, but not as bad as I thought. How did you know? Your mom told me you went out to meet up with someone, and I assumed it was Mr. Fuji. Oh, okay. Wait. How did you know Mr. Fuji was my dad? Uh, your mom told me? Yuki, you're a horrible liar. Who told you? Uh, the, the, the internet? Yuki! What is going on here? Back off, Iori! Yuki, you better tell me now before I beat the crap out of you! You know I can! Mameha, don't you dare! I said back off, Iori! Well? <sighs> Alright. It was Trent. I should have known. I'm gonna kill that narcissistic, cocky know-it-all. Mameha, he didn't tell anyone else. I swear. How do you know that? Trent is one of the most trustworthy guys there is. That player? He may be a player, but he doesn't betray people. Will someone tell me what is going on here? Sure, Yuki. You can tell her. She is still family, after all. Mommy had just talked to her dad. Oh, 
How did it go? Wait, you knew? It's not what you think. You just said Trent didn't tell anyone else! He didn't. I overheard them when I followed Trent. Am I the last one to know? Look, Oni-chan didn't want for either of us to be the ones to tell you. He wanted you to find out from one of your parents. He even threatened Obasa in order for her to tell you sooner than later. He was looking out for you like he would for me. Would you have rather found out from me? I would be happy to have both of my parents back in my life, but I can't, so deal with it. I'm going to meet my friends now, so move. Iori, I, I'm sorry, I, I yeah, didn't- Yeah, well, whatever. You're still in my way, so move. Hello? Oh, hey, Zeke. Sure, why not? Yeah, okay. I'll see you there in 20 minutes. Okay, bye. Listen, Yuki. I'm sorry for- It's okay. I get it. Hey, don't let too much of what Iori said get to you. No. What she said is true. Well, I'm meeting up with Ben, so I'm heading out too. I'll see you later. You know, maybe talking with Zeke might help things. Yeah, okay. He doesn't know, right? Like I said, Trent wouldn't do that. He told me, saying that I would probably be the best to handle it. I'll see you later. Thanks, Yuki. Later. So, did you talk with Jaden yet? Yes, I did. Although it seemed like talking to a brick wall. Oh, yeah? It was getting to the point where I got so mad, I just left him. He makes me so angry sometimes. Is it the same kind of angry with Ben? Uh, what? Uh, no. I, I could never be mad at Ben. <laughs> You're so cute when you talk, hear, or think about Ben. So what happened? Well, it could have been better. Did you tell him at least? Well, I tried to, but he already knew. I guess it would have made it easier. It should have, but it only made the fire worse since it seems he's more determined to make me love him. He said that? Wow, Marie, you're a little Miss Popular now, aren't you? <laughs> Lynn! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I guess Jaden must really like you, huh? I know, but... I really like Ben. I wonder what he's doing now. Sorry I'm late. There's some stuff I have to deal with at home. Hey, no worries. So, what are we doing? It would really suck if we ran into that prince jerk again. <laughs> What are the odds of that happening? Was it really that bad last time? Yes! I mean, seriously! That guy just really irks me! It doesn't have to do with Marie at all? Well... Zeke already told me, by the way. That little piece of- you Don't blame him. We're all worried about you. You know, if you want to blame someone, blame yourself. Why should I- Wait, did you just say we? Does that mean Trent knows too? At least you can admit that you're actually jealous now. Now why don't you think about how you being jealous and acting the way that you do affects Marie? What do you mean? When was the last time you talked to Marie after the incident? What are you talking about? I talked to her at school. Aside from saying, hi, how are you doing? But we really talked. Hmm? Uh... I thought so. <sighs> you really do have me working hard this time, Ben. Huh? Alright, stop here. Okay, let's go. Yuki, why are we... here? 